हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज क्लासिकल केस द पोलर ओपोजिट ऑफ द होरिजोंटल एलम कर्व विच इंप्लाइज दैट मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी कैनॉट अफेक्ट द लेवल ऑफ इनकम इज द वर्टिकल एलम कर्व द वर्टिकल एलम कर्व इज कॉल्ड द क्लासिकल केस द एलम कर्व इज वर्टिकल when the demand for money is entirely unresponsive to the interest rate that is h is equal to 0 where h denotes responsiveness of demand for money to interest rate recall that the lm curve is described by this equation where m bar upon p bar denotes real money supply and this term denotes money demand rewriting the above equation with h equals to 0 we obtain m bar upon p bar equals to ky and in the next step we can write it as in this form the classical case implies that nominal gdp this one depends only on the quantity of money nominal gdp depends only on the quantity of money that is m bar this is the classical quantity theory of money which argues that the level of nominal income or nominal gdp is determined solely by the quantity of money the classical case let us first see the case of monetary policy here we have two axes this is downward sloping i schedule and lm curve is vertical equilibrium interest rate is oi1 and equilibrium output level is oi1 now in case of expansionary monetary policy lm curve will shift rightwards as you can see lm curve has been shifted towards right to lm1 and the new equilibrium interest rate is oi2 new equilibrium output is oi2 so i can say that maximal effect on income now let us see the case of fiscal policy again we have two axes downward sloping i schedule upward sloping lm schedule equilibrium interest rate is oi1 and equilibrium output level is oi1 now in case of expansionary fiscal policy is curve will shift towards right as you can see is curve has been shifted to is1 new equilibrium interest rate is oi2 and in this case no effect on income Thank you